Moon Oracle. That is a name that somehow takes me to, I don't know, maybe Neofolk, maybe atmospheric black metal, maybe something very melodic, symphonic black metal, definitely something beautiful and nice and kind of a, maybe even romantic. When you uh, add this uh, Muse of the Night Side, what seems to be the title of this rather cool featuring cover, this MCD that is, well, it takes me a place where it should be something along those lines which I just described. So you can just assume my amazement when I heard the music with this title and this name. Now, this is quite the contrary, uh, being somewhat the raw, primitive black metal with two members. Uh, it's been said that these members have an interesting background, but I don't know. They don't mention really the bands here, except for the vocalist Harold Mentor, who is known for um, Hail, not Hail Conjurer, but his own bands like Red for Revenge and all that stuff. But this music reminds me of Hail Conjurer and Ildion, a little bit of Baratrum when it comes to uh, those bass lines. It's as if this was Ildion and Hail Conjurer deciding to go for, I don't know, more doomier ways than just, you know, having that kind of up-tempo aggressiveness. Now, don't get me wrong, the idea is pretty interesting. However, when it comes to the execution part, you know, the production having very, very uh, raw black metal and the drum machine, which, I don't know, seem, uh, seems like more like coming from rap, hip-hop music rather than very metallic sound. It is quite peculiar. Now, this is at some points very, very experimental release also. And as such, I kind of really recommend this to most black metal heads because most black metal heads are quite conservative when it comes to style. Assuming the music is something like your typical uh, Swedish or Norwegian sounding black metal. And this is quite different. Actually, I got to respect that this is not your typical uh, cup of tea when it comes to uh, black metal music. Having very bizarre uh, production, uh, but then again, rather good and traditional uh, growlier, shrieky vocal style, what is the kind of a trademark of Harold Mentor. This is something different, not your typical black metal, but has those elements. And when I say this reminds me of Ildion, well, like I said, it's only if Ildion started to do some weird uh, side project akin to Swordwalker, but with a lot more slower pace, almost like doomier ones. And those bass lines, well, they are something different, but kind of fascinating. Now, because of its uh, rather unique sound and feel, I really can't enjoy this to the full. For me, this is kind of a mediocre album, even though I like, once again, I like the idea that this is uh, something very, very different. But once again, that doesn't mean that this is an excellent album. In fact, quite the contrary. Um, I don't know to which kind of audience to really recommend this to. Maybe if you are already very, very bored with your traditional black metal, it doesn't matter which era or which country we're talking about, and you want something different, something to really push the envelope, well, this is something that you should be checking out. But like I said, it's not your typical thing, so up to you whether or not you're going to like this. You will find the music here on the band's Bandcamp site, and the album should be already out. It gives a little bit different dates. For example, it says here, 27th of August, but on some sites it states 18th of August. So I'm not really 100% sure whether or not this is already out, but will be soon anyway. Now, go give it a chance and decide for yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.